Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first time ever color correcting and cream contouring. So I picked up a bunch of the LA Girl concealers and color correctors. The correctors I got in the green shade and also in the orangey shade. So I thought I would film my first time color correcting and cream contouring. So without further ado, I still feel weird when I say that. So as you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation pretty much all over my face, but the most severe spot is here on the left side of my cheek. I also have a little bit here on the right side, but it's not as bad or as concentrated. I also have a lot of blemish prone skin at the moment and very uneven texture. And I have nice big bags under my eyes, which is a regular occurrence. As you can see, that redness I was talking about on my blemishes, I've actually been getting a lot of breakouts. That's a very flattering angle, sorry. But I've been getting a lot of breakouts all concentrated here under my chin. The purple bags under my eyes are quite prominent. Um, they're actually not as puffy as what they usually are, so that's one positive. So these are the two correctors I have. I have the green corrector and the orange corrector. So the green corrector is meant to help cancel out redness. So perfect for my hyperpigmented areas on my face. Now I'm going to go in with the orange corrector and just pop that under my eyes. I'm just going to start off by using just my finger to blend out the orange under my eye a little bit. And then I'm going to take my damp Chi Chi sponge and just bounce all the orange and green into my skin a bit more. I don't know if you can see on camera how green that is, but it's really actually quite green in real life. I actually think I need a little bit more of that orange corrector, just up under my lower lash line a little bit more. So because I'm fake tanned right now, I do need to go in with a darker foundation, except this one I have here, which is 005 Natural Beige in the Revlon Photo Ready, it's just a tiny bit too dark. So what I like to do is add one pump of this, then one pump of my Revlon Color Stay in the color 150 bar. Okay, so that's just with foundation on no concealer. I can still see the redness coming through on my cheek. The foundation has pretty much covered up nearly all the orange under my eye, but I am going to go in and actually conceal as well. So I'm going to use the colour Light Ivory in their concealer range by LA Girl. And then I'm going to use Medium Beige to do like my bronzing all around the outside of my face. I'm going to take my beauty blender and start off by blending out the highlighted point. And then going in with natural bronze, I'm just going to do a tiny little bit more of a deeper shade right along that original contour line I've left. Nothing drastic. I feel like that's blended out really nicely, especially the contour shades. I'm not 110% sold on the concealer shade I use, so I'm going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to pop that back under my eyes just to re-highlight that area. So that's what it looks like with all the cream products on my face. So now I'm going to go in and set my under eyes and my contour and all of that. And I like to use this matte colour out of the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette to set under my eyes and any of my highlighted areas. And using my F10 brush by Sigma, I'm going to go in with the medium cocoa shade in the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. And I'm just going to set that cream contour in place. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques contour brush and take the same shade and run it down my nose. And then for blush, I'm going to take my Tarte Bling On palette and use the colour called Beaming, which is this one at the bottom here. And then I'm going to take a bit of the shade called Smashing and pop that on the apples of my cheeks too. And then for highlight, I'm going to take MAC Soft and Gentle. 
Okay guys, so my eye makeup's all done, I've got my lashes on and everything and I'm just going to finish off my makeup by using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the colour Trap. So guys, my overall verdict is that the colour correcting has definitely helped to leave my face looking much more flawless once I have all my final makeup on. So I still have the slightest bit of redness poking through the bottom of my left cheek, as you can see there. It is certainly a lot more concealed than what it ever has been before, which makes me really happy. And then the orange corrector, 110%, definitely helps to conceal those purple under eye bags so much better than just concealer by itself. So I just feel like they're so much brighter if you guys can see. Can you see under my eyes? <laughs> so definitely 110% works. You don't need to go crazy stupid with the orange. You only need the smallest amount and blend it out to actually help to conceal that purple tone, which is fabulous. Oh, I absolutely love these LA Girl concealers and color correctors. I picked mine up from makeupnet.com.au, which is an Australian-based company. They were $11 each in Australian dollars, which I thought was an absolute steal. So I still end up using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just to finish off my under eyes. But for everywhere else, I did like the lighter colored concealer. These three shades are my favorite. So the orange concealer, the medium beige, which I use to bronze up my face, and then the beautiful bronze to finish off my contour. These out of the seven shades I got are definitely my favorite, and I would highly recommend these. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me if you did, and leave me some suggestions in the comment section of cream contour products you like, and make sure to ask me any questions if you have any, and I'll be talking to you really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>